Hello and welcome to another video lecture on AutoCAD. So today's lecture is going to be how to divide a line into equal parts. So it is a very easy thing to do in AutoCAD. So what you can see is that uh, if you have a line, it could be of any dimension like this and you want to divide it into equal parts so let us, you want to divide it into five parts five equal parts then the command which you use for that is going to be divide so what you do is just type in the command divide and it will ask you to select the object to divide so select this object and then if you look at the command line here what you will see is that it is asking you for the number of segments into which you want to divide it so let us see we want to divide it into five segments so just enter the number five and enter so what you are going to see is that now this line has been divided into five segments and at every point here there is a point which has been drawn so actually this line has not been divided into parts so if you just click on this line what you will observe is that the line is still complete it has not been divided or broken into parts but only the marking has been made on it so these are just points which have been marked on the line from where you can now use these to do the further drawing from that so let us now see that I want to draw lines which are vertical lines from each of these points. So I will go to the line command and then now I want to select this. So I have to use the snap which is called as node. So now this is already I have kept it on so it is picking up this. But if your snap is not on what you can do is you can press the shift and right hand mouse button so that will open up the snap menu and here you can just select node and go and pick this point and then you can draw a line exactly at this particular point same way suppose you want to draw a circle at this point and what you do is go to the circle command and if you want to pick this point just go to shift third mouse button select node it will catch hold of this point and you can draw a circle so anything you can draw from these points because now you have divided this line into five equal parts now these as I told you are just points which are marked on the line. They are not actually breaking this line into pieces. So once your work is done, you can simply erase these points. So you can go to the erase command and just erase these points and it is not going to cause any difference in your drawing. So this line will still remain intact. Now what happens is that you have seen that how these points were seen like I will just undo this so you can see that they are seen like this a circle and these two a cross in the circle. So how these points are going to be seen is governed by a variable which we call as a point style. So you can go here to uh, the view command and uh, sorry uh, you can go to the format command and you can just go and see the point style table. So what you will see is this point style table is going to come. So you can select any of the point styles that suits you. So for example right now it is like a circle with a cross. You can select this and say OK and what you will see is that now it has been seen in a different way. So why I am telling you this is because sometimes what happens is that by default 
in the format tab the point style is set to either this or this so it could be just a dot or it could be a blank so suppose i take this and say okay so what you are going to do is what you are what is going to happen is that even if you divide the line you are not going to see the points of division for example now let us say i go here draw another line like this and divide this into say three equal parts so i go to divide command select this line and say three enter but i am not seeing any points here the reason for that is that my point style is not adjusted so for that i will go to the format tab go to the point style and just change the style of the point and what you will see is that you will start seeing these points on the line from where you can then do any type of drawing that you want to do so this is another thing which you should note while doing this divide command is that there is something called as point style these point styles are shown in this table this can also be this is also governed by a command which is called as the pd mode so pd mode is the point definition mode and right now it has been set to 66 so this particular point definition is 66 if it was zero then possibly you will not see any points so let us try to again say pd mode okay here and let us try to see whether any other type of modes are there so there will be innumerable types so right now it is set to zero as you can see by default if i set it to two suppose and enter what you will see is that this particular pd mode has been now set so you can either go to pd mode to set the definition of this point or you can go to the format tab here and go to the point style table and then select any of these types of points which you can see on the line so I hope this uh, small tutorial was useful. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you.